What's going on guys? Brian and Priscilla here and today we are hanging out at Volcano Bay. Volcano Bay as you can see by the giant volcano by the bay. This is Universal Studios premier water park. By far one of the coolest water parks in the entire world. The technology here is amazing. The water slides are amazing. I've been here before but I've only done a couple slides before but this is Priscilla's very yep. first time. So anyways we're going to get rocking and rolling. One of the cool features in this water park that I don't know if any other water parks have this. I don't yeah, think so. Never heard about it. But it's this device right here on your wrist. It's called Tapu Tapu. It's basically a virtual weight line. So you go up to these water slides and we'll show you in a little bit. You tap to reserve your spot in the line for the water slide and it'll count down for you on your little Tapu Tapu wristband. So it'll notify you when you, it's time for you to go ride. But while you're waiting in this virtual wait line, you can relax, have some drinks. You can do uh, other slides that have no wait time. They also have, of course, the wave pool, the lazy river, the fast lazy river. So anyways, with this device, it definitely saves you a lot of time, especially if you plan it out and do everything the right way. So anyways, let's stop wasting time. We're going to get some yep, lockers, find a place to seat and uh, reserve some wait times. Yep. All right, let's rock and roll. So here is the map of the water park. And here is the wait time board. And as you can see, the majority of the rides are right now, which means we don't even have to reserve a spot on it. We can just go right on it. Um, and I didn't mention this, but it is a beautiful day and it's January right now, but the high today is 85 degrees. So we figured January is one of the slowest months of the year for theme parks in Orlando because of course all the tourists go back after Christmas, but most people aren't thinking to go to a water park, I think in January. And it's just an anomaly that on the weekend we're having record highs of 85 degrees. So uh, we're going to take advantage of that today. All right, we just set our stuff up in the lockers. Just sunscreened our entire bodies. Your body. Ready to go. <laughs> My body is ready. <laughs> so we just talked to uh, Carl at the lockers. And right now, like, look at this park. <laughs> like I said, January water park day. There's no one here. And we just lucked out with how hot it is today in Florida. But uh, Carl said uh, one of the best ones to do first is Krakatau Aqua Coaster. Yep. Um, that's one of the premier coasters in this park or premier water slides in this park. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and knock it out in case there is a line later on. But right now, every single ride in this park is a, at right now status. So we don't even have to use our Tapu Tapu wristbands at the moment. So. Uh, yeah, and uh, we'll see if we're able to bring the GoPro on any of these slides. I heard we couldn't, um, but uh, well, we're going to try. We're going to try. Let's see. Maybe there's some cool employees here. <laughs> uh oh, there's one of the bars. Dancing Dragons Bar. Oh, yeah, I want to sit at the bar and drink Pina Colada. Pina Colada? Yeah, it looks like a full bar. Party the island way or the volcano bay way. Oh, more lockers and restrooms. Wave Village. <laughs> There's no one here. This is awesome. I think the um, so we'll do this one first, and I think the uh, some of the family raft rides, like the big ones, yeah. I from what I understand from water parks. They usually get pretty long lines later in the day because anyone, for the most part, is able to go on them. So we'll probably uh, maybe knock those out after. You're gonna go. Love the theming in this park, though. Look, just everything looks so cool. One of the lazy rivers.
right guys, so we've already knocked out a few slides as you saw. And let me tell you, I was predicting being in January in Florida that not many people were gonna be here. But and he was right. <laughs> and I was I wasn't just right, I nailed it because that's probably already what, like almost noon? It probably is at least yeah, 12. And it's way warmer now too. It's yeah. This this park is absolutely dead. So by far the best time to come to Volcano Bay is in January if we get a warm front of 85 degrees. So here's some of the private cabanas you can rent out. That's it's a really nice setup. I don't want to fight. Look, they even have double decker ones. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they have full availability today. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, if you have the cash or like a big family or a party, party or something it's probably completely worth it at least on a busy day today it's probably not so much because there's no one here That was great. Oh, yeah, it's one of those, I didn't even know until I got up there. It's one of those ones like Aquatica that you, you go inside like a tube where you're standing there inside the tube and then the floor drops out from under you. So you have to stand in there with your arms and legs crossed. And then, yeah, yeah, you wouldn't like it. But they drop it and it's, um, you know, pretty, steep i don't know what degree probably 70 to 80 degree i'm sure drop um and then it levels out and you know the trick for doing body slides to go super super fast is to only have your heels and your um shoulder blades touching the slide and you lift up on your butt because the friction on your bathing suit is going to slow you down as you go on the body slide so as soon as I did the drop, I lifted up and I was flying through the twists and turns all the way to the bottom. So hopefully you got a good shot of that. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but yeah, that was really cool. And I was exhausted after walking up the 1,000 stairs because yeah. it, it was uh, pretty far up there. There was nobody, um, there was one person. Was it. Yeah, yeah. And the only, um, and so that's got to be like one of the best body slides in the entire park. There's only the one that's better than that, and that's, or really, I should say, faster or higher drop. And it's, I forgot the name, but it, that's the uh, straight down at the top of the volcano. So I'll probably do that in a little bit. But that was, that was a good water slide. I had fun on that one. So, and once again, no line on that either. So let's keep going. The only thing I wish these little tapu tapu wristbands did was show us what time it is, because honestly, I have no idea right now. Oh, it's 12. Oh, wait. Hey, look at that. 12.01. There we go. Plus, if I look at this, though, all the different lines. Enjoy any time. Enjoy any time. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. That is awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, so we finally figured out all the actual rules and regulations on GoPros in the park and what you can and cannot do with them. So what are they, Priscilla? So basically, the only thing you can do is bring your GoPro on the Lazy River, the Faster River, and the Wave Pool. Everything yep. else, if you have to wait in line, you're not allowed to bring it because those articles are not permitted. Yep, exactly. So, yeah, and at the entrance of every slide, it will show, like, on the wait time when you're scanning your thing. Um, no loose articles permitted and they would consider 
any kind of photography items like a GoPro, a loose article. Yeah. Um, even if you have a head mount, chest strap, any of that stuff, nope, they won't let you do it. Of course, obviously we did get our own footage because um, I am a little sneaky and I like to break the rules sometimes. So don't get too mad at me, but the shots look awesome. Um, and I was obviously super careful filming all of it. Um, but yeah, so that's the general rule. Um, and so anyways, oh, hey, look, squirrel. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was distracted. Um, on that note, we're super hungry now since we walked up a million stairs and yeah. burned a million calories. So we're gonna uh, figure out some of the best places to eat in Volcano Bay. Mm -hmm.